Welcome to Mystery Science Theater Presents Basic Math Skills Review. A lot of physics involves just some real basic mathematics. So I want to start with a, what I call a, a three variable equation. So if I have something like A equals BC and I want to solve this for B, if I want to solve for B, solve for is the same thing as sometimes it's called isolating the variable. I want to get the B by itself. So I can see that there's this C attached to the B, that the function that's happening here is multiplication. And so to, to undo multiplication, we're going to do the inverse function, which the inverse of multiplication is to divide. So I can A equals BC. I'm going to divide both sides by C. The C over here will be canceled out, and I'm left with A over C equals B. If I want to solve for C, I can have A equals BC. To solve for C, I need to get rid of this multiply by B. So I'm going to divide both sides by B. The B's will cancel. A over B equals C. It looks fairly simple here, but let's, uh, let's look at a physics equation. So if I start with F equals MA, and I say solve for M. Well, to solve for M means to get M by itself, so I need to divide out the A. So F divided by A is M. Or if I said solve for A, F equals MA. If I solve for A, that means I need to get A by itself. So I divide both sides by M. And A is equal to F divided by M. That's a pretty simple type of uh, mathematical formula, but it's one that is often, uh, some students tend to struggle with it sometimes. Now, there's another way that you can look at this. For example, in, in physics, there's a formula for what's called Ohm's Law, and it says V equals IR. It's just like the A equals BC pattern or the F equals MA. Uh, and I've seen this once where they do a circle diagram, something like this. And they put the V on top and the IR like so. So V equals IR. So in this circle diagram, if V equals IR, if I cover up the V, solve for V, V equals IR. If I solve for I, cover up the I, I equals V over R. Cover up the R, R equals V over I. Let's just double check that. Does that work for F equals MA? F equals MA. So F equals MA. M equals F over A. A equals F over M. So if it's helpful, this circle diagram can help if you just have a, a three variable equation like this. Another type of mathematical review we need to talk about is if it's not just those three, if it's say something like 2x plus 5 equals 7. If I want to solve for x, solve for x. Basically what I'm looking at doing here is I need to isolate the variable x. Well before I can get x by itself, I need to get the term that contains x by itself. Terms are things in an equation that are added or subtracted. So I've got a 2x term and I've got a 5 term. They're being added together. So I need to get rid of this plus 5 first. So the inverse function of plus is, or addition, is to subtract. So I'm going to minus 5 from both sides. Then I have 2x equals 7 minus 5 is 2. So now I've got the term with x by itself. And now I'm ready to get just x by itself. To get x by itself, I'm going to divide by 2. So I'm left with x equals 2 divided by 2 is 1. And there's my answer. What if we have something complicated, such as e equals 1 half k x squared. Suppose I want to solve for k. Well, first thing I need to do is I, I can see the k is here squeezed in between this 1 half and this x squared. But what's happening here is multiply and multiply. So I'm going to, multi to get rid of 1 half that's multiplied, I can either divide by 1 half, but that's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So I can multiply by 2 to get rid of the 1 half. So then I have 2 times e equals 2 times this, the 2 gets rid of the 1 half, kx squared, and then to solve for k, 
I need to get rid of the x squared. I'm just going to divide both sides by x squared, like so. x squareds cancel, and k is equal to uh, 2e divided by x squared. That's solved for k. But what if I wanted to solve for x? To solve for x, again, I'm going to multiply by 2. So I end up with 2e equals kx squared, right? But now to get x by itself, I need to divide by k. Let's get the k over on the other side. k's disappear. So now I've got 2e over k equals x squared. To get rid of square, I'm going to do a square root. So the square root of 2e over k equals the square root of x squared, which is x. And that is how we do that rearrangement.